But you're about to see a passionate, dedicated, and trained people practicing and preparing to enter an extreme sporting event that may change their lives. Do not try this on your own without necessary experience and supervision. Breathe in, breathe out. This moment's what it's all about. Born to be great, your golden way. Don't hesitate. Accelerate. Set for the race. Aim, aim to give it all I got. Mind is set. Gonna reach the high spot. Working hard in order to fulfill my goal. Nothing can stop me from getting what I'm going for. That's being great. I was working till it's late. So I won't hesitate. Gotta get to first place. Hands on the golden plate. I concentrate. I concentrate. Won't hit the break. Just move forward. Accelerate. Welcome back to Accelerate. Last week, we saw on-track karting rivals Joaquin de Oliveira and Riza Levy battle it out in the Western Cape Karting Championship title. Joaquin took home the title, but the Levy legacy lives on. Today, we cross over to the tennis courts, where we will meet 14-year-old tennis prospect Kelly Ahrens and watch her go head-to-head -head in the Western Province TSA Growth Point Series. Tennis is a racket sport played against a single opponent, known as singles, or between two teams, consisting of two players each, known as doubles. It is played on a rectangular court, separated by a net, and involves hitting the ball over the net to your opponent and returning serves, until the first player is unable to do so or the ball bounces out of the designated lines, which is when the other player receives points. Let's meet this gifted accelerator. I'm Kelly Owens, I'm 14 years old, and I play tennis. I stay in Cape Town, Edgemead, with my parents and my brother. I started playing tennis at the age of four. Her talent and passion definitely comes from, I think, both of us. Because um, at an early age, she was um, introduced to tennis and a brother played, so it's more like a family thing. I have an older brother named Robbie. He's 16 years old and he plays tennis. He is currently number four in his age group in the country. I was motivated by my brother because he played tennis and he had a lot of trophies and I thought to myself, maybe I also could get a few trophies. My icon is in tennis is Serena Williams. I really like Serena Williams because she works hard and she's really confident on the court. My future aspirations for tennis is to become a professional tennis player and go as far as I can. Well, Kelly really has her own ambition and she's driven and she wants to be professional and ultimately be number one. So we'll support her all the way. I feel passionate about tennis because it gives you opportunity to change a lot. Tennis is a very physically demanding sport. Some of the risks associated with the sport is getting injuries such as shoulder injuries, wrist injuries, hip injuries and abdominal strains. The safety aspects of tennis does concern me. Um, the kids are prone to injuries. Recently, Kelly just had an abdominal strain. It was quite tough. It was in the middle of a tournament. It affected her serve, so it does concern me. I spend a lot of time on tennis a week. On average, I spend about 30 hours per week. Tennis requires a lot of dedication from your parents as they need to take you to your training, they take you to your tournaments and they support you no matter what. The support we offer Kelly is a lot emotional and financial support. We make sure she gets to where she needs to go. You know, as for emotional support, there are ups and downs and we have to be that shoulder and we have to be there for her. I have many coaches, but my main coach is Anthony Harris. He is very fun off the court, and, but on the court he can be very strict because he wants to push you to be the best you can be. The reason Kelly is so good at tennis is probably because 
First of all, her mentality. She is like really intense. She's very focused. She's a fighter. And I think another reason behind it, she comes from a family that's very supportive of her tennis and, and really behind her. Currently, I'm preparing for the finals of the Growth Point TSA series. This event is important to me as it will give me a chance to improve my ranking. The upcoming event is a place for us to measure Kelly's progress, to see the work that she's been doing, if, if it's possible for her to execute it in a real-time environment so that we can see whether her she's ready to compete internationally. Kelly has done exceptionally well playing against older girls from other provinces. She has made it to the final and we are so proud of her. We believe that Kelly has a good chance to win the match. Win or lose, we will support her no matter what. If I win the finals, it will give me a good foundation to enter my next age group and set me on the path towards reaching my dreams. I think Kelly has a very bright future. I think she's putting in the correct time into developing her tennis at the moment. And I think that with the correct and the right international exposure, she will, have, she will be on the same playing field as all other girls around the world. And so she will have an equal opportunity and equal chance. My biggest dream is to become number one in the world and win the Grand Slams. After the break, we will see how Kelly prepares for her upcoming event. Impa, how do I live? Okay, I'm going to prepare for my Facebook. 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 Welcome back. This is Accelerate. Today we are at Rondebosch Tennis Centre following tennis player Kelly Argos. Utlabe Aamahani Hu Western Province TSA Growth Point Series. Utlabe Aslisana Lidiba Padice Shwaswa Mitse Gaudimu Hanyani Hu Yanakadile. The equipment needed for tennis is a tennis racket, tennis balls and then you need comfortable tennis shoes and athletic clothing. The basic rules of tennis is to hit the ball over the net within the white lines. Um, if your ball goes outside the white lines, you lose the points. Some of the terminology used in tennis is you start the rally off with a serve. Um, volleys and smashes are played at the net. A forehand is usually played with one hand and a backhand is most of the time played with two hands. Today is the finals and I'm determined to take home the winner's trophy. My family and I come very early to the venue on the match day. I will be competing in the girls under 16 age group. It's my first time of competing in this age group so I'm quite nervous but I made it all the way through to the final. As soon as we arrive we look for an available court to warm up on. Once I find an available cause, what do you think? I start with dynamic stretches to warm up all my muscles. Hey, what do you think we should do? My dad and I spent some time practicing a few shots to warm up before my match. While my dad and I are rallying, he gives me pointers and advice to use in my final match. You know, a lot of that, though, when you play an aggressive shot and then you get the block return. Exact same serve until contact, then your racket just finishes more, yeah. Uh, Kelly's personality, she's very quiet off the court. You hardly hear her, but the minute she's on the court, she's an animal. Once the on-court warm-up is done, we go towards the court that I'm playing on. While waiting for the officials to arrive to start the match, my dad discusses strategy with me and grips my racket. I make my way to the players bench and get my stuff ready for the match. Going into the final, my strategy would be to be consistent in all of my shots. 
The official calls us to their net and we do the coin toss. The coin toss decides on who makes the first decision on court. The two decisions include which side you can start from or if you want to serve first. After our coin toss, the official allows us a five minute warm up. I use the warm-up to figure out my opponent's strengths and weaknesses. My opponent starts serving the first point of the match. We then proceed into a rally. As we get deeper into the rally, I hit an effective shot which puts a lot of pressure on her to hit the ball back and that results in me winning the points. It's really nice to get the first point of the match because it settles you in. On the first serve, my opponent serves a fault, but she gets a second serve in. I hit her return and she hits the ball directly out. I won that point and the score is now love 30. My opponent serves again. We have an intense rally. She hits the ball out once again, which results in me winning the points. The score is now love 40 to me. My opponent serves again, and we get into another intense rally. This time, I lose the points. The score is now 1540. I'm not happy about losing that point because if I won that point, the game would have been over. My opponent serves the ball. I return and then she hits the ball directly out. I won the game, the score is now one love to me. I'm really happy that I won the first game of the match. It's nice to win the first game of the match because it relieves some pressure off you. After the first game, we swap sides and it's now my turn to serve. I serve my first ball of the match and it's a fault. I hit my second serve with less pace and more caution to get the ball in. My opponent returns my serve and I hit the ball back out. The score is love 15 to her. My first serve was a fault. And my opponent returns the really good shot and I lose the points. The score is now love 30. I serve my first serve in. I hit a ball out which results her into winning the points. The score is now love 40 to my opponent. I serve the ball and we get into a rally. My opponent hits another good shot which results in me losing the point again. I'm serving on game point down. My opponent hits back to me and I hit a stupid error by hitting the ball out. The score is now one game all. My opponent is getting the better of me. I need to step up my game.
I serve my next serve and it's in and we proceed into a rally. My opponent returns and I hit a bad shot into the net which allows her to win the first point of this game. The score is now love 15. I serve the ball, she, she returns it and we proceed into a rally. And we both come to the net and then I win the points. The score is now 15 all. I serve, she returns the ball. In the rally, she comes to the net. And I had a passing shot winning the points. The score is now 30-15 to me. I serve the ball, she returns. She ends up hitting the ball out and I win the points. The score is now 40-15 to me. I feel very confident at this point of the match because I have a set point so I just have to focus on winning this point and then I'll pull through the first set. I serve a really good serve which results in her hitting the ball out and I win the set. My opponent serves the first point of the second set. but she ends up hitting the ball out and I win the points. The score is now love 15 to me. My opponent serves. I return the ball and hit a good angle and she ends up missing the volley and I win the points. The score is now love 30 to me. My opponent serves the ball again, I hit a return. She hits the ball in the net, which results in me winning the point again. The score is now love 40 to me. My opponent serves. I hit the ball in the net, which results in her winning her first point of the game. My opponent serves, I had a return. She hits the ball out. I win the first game of the second set. It's now 5 1 to me. If I win this game, I win the match. Shoot! Kelly is smashing it in the under 16 girls final category. Nah, Ibe, I got one now. Hapa Shudisa no ena. Eta bona sena, kamo rapa pat. Oseka suit. Impa, hajwale, wakaita la kapela gona la Facebook. Me ore pitela kapa padito amaling leto. Iko panye le wona mi, wakai pumana ole mona le nane hong lago. I'm going to go accelerate. I'm going to go to the next one. Kelly is going to go to the under 16 girls TSA Gold Point Series. It's now 5 1 to me. If I win this game, I win the match. My opponent serves and she hits the net. She gets the second serve in, I return, we proceed into a rally. I had a bad shot and then she hits a really good angle and she wins the first point of the game. The score is 15 love to her. 
My opponent serves a fault. Serve is a fault as well, which results in me winning the points. The score is now 15 all. My opponent serves, beginning to rally. And she hits a minus ball out. The score is now 15-30 to me. I'm back into the lead. This gives me a confidence booster to pull through to win the match. My opponent serves a fault. This, her second serve goes in and we're proceeding to rally. She hits the ball into the net, which results in me winning the points. The score is now 15-40 to me. It's match point now. If I win this point now, I will win the match. My opponent serves a fault. The second serve is another fault, which results in me winning the point and I win the match 6-2-6-1. I feel relieved winning the match because I worked really hard this whole tournament getting to the final and it feels good to end the tournament off with a win. After all finals are done, we wait for prize giving to begin. Prize giving takes place on one of the open courts. I'm really excited about this prize giving. I'm really excited about this prize giving because it's the first time that I've won an under 16 growth point super eight. And the 2017 girls under 16 winner, Kelly Allen. The biggest lesson that tennis has taught me is to be dedicated, hardworking, and to never give up. Congratulations, Kelly. My game is set to aha olu sebeta katata. Who ends a mampu di wa under 16 girls TSA gold point series? You go, girl. Next week we touch off to Europa Equestrian Estate, where we meet 12 year old Yana Meya and her host Anika. In the meantime, check out our Facebook page for more news and views. 